くお前はまだ成長を続けている俺も負けてはいられんなここからが本当の戦いだ<笑>楽しくなってきたぞPeople, it's your boy Bossy SSJ. Welcome back to another video. And today we've got a couple of surprises over on the JP side of Dragon Ball Z Dock and Battle. And you will not believe it yet unless you've already seen it yet, because I didn't until I actually seen it yet. I thought this has got to be fake. But tech hit. You remember the global first Dock and Fest hit that nobody has used at all in probably the past year, maybe even more. Yes, he is getting an easy A. So people, stay locked for that. I'm just a bit confused of it's kind of a global first unit, but then JP gets the easy A. So that's kind of confused me a bit. But anyway, we're going to move on to the best bit, yeah? And that is, as you can see on screen, translations, courtesy of your homie Goresh. But we have got a legendary rare hit and Super Saiyan God Goku called the Super Light Speed Battle Outburst. You know, it's one of them, one of them mad... Japanese names, you know what I mean? But we have got the leader skill, high speed battle, which is a new category which will be interesting to see, and universal survival saga, category key plus four, HP, attack, and defense 150. And we have also got the super attack. The 12 key is Goku and hits joint front, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage with a high chance to stun the enemy. And also, we have got the quotes, but we are not going to go through that right now. I'd rather just wait until I've got the actual unit. But the 18 key is greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage with a high chance to stun the enemy. So, it's, it seems alright so far. It seems alright so far. Now on to the passive skill. We've got high speed advantage, attack and defense 170%. Key plus 6, an additional attack and defense plus 60% and attacks guaranteed to hit and disable enemies guard and gain a high chance to evade enemies attack as the first or second attacker in a turn. So that's not too bad at all. It seems good so far people but we've still got a bit left to go. And key plus 7 and an additional attack plus 70% and perform an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack as the third attacker in a turn. So he is kind of like the LR Gogeta or Vegito in a way from the, I believe it was the fifth year. In a way, in a way, don't like, we'll see when they come out. So don't officially quote me on that right now. But we have got the active skill. The active skill is called the ever-growing combo. And the conditions are you are able to use it after three super attacks are launched. And the HP is 76% or below once only. So that's not a bad condition at all, people. At least they've kind of stopped giving us these really terrible active skill conditions, it seems. And the ability is gain attack and offense plus 13% during battle. So it's not, it's not that good, but... I'll take it, I'll take it, since the conditions aren't bad. Also, you can see the links, people. They've pretty much got all the links you'd expect. Some really good ones there. And we've also got the categories. So far, it looks like they're only on four categories. But I can see them being added to more. I'm not too sure. We'll have to wait and see when it comes out. But people, let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for this new unit. I know I am. Obviously, I think there's going to be a new celebration. They're not just going to release a unit like this out of nowhere on a random legendary summon banner. I don't think they're going to do that. So be prepared. Stay locked to the channel for further details. Smash that like button if you've learned something or you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell for daily Dragon Ball Z uploads and figurine unboxing slash reviews. But I've been your boy Mossy SSJ. You lot stay safe. And I'll catch you on the next one, people.